leaves in my hair. I think it's all gone. Hello, Sheddies, and you join me again in my shed. You may have seen in my last video, my welder video, I mentioned that I was going to do the hedges. Well, I did them today. Well, I did half. It started raining again. Oh, God, I despise hedges with a cut in them. I need to get some fences up. At some point, I will do. <laughs> they do look good when they're cut, but oh, the amount of time and effort involved. Anyway, I went to Lidl, bought some more items. I thought I'd show you before I opened them. It's going to be a bit of a quickie. Oh, and I bought something else from somewhere else. Let me show you. Cable ties from Lidl, from Parksale, Middle Isle. Saw them, I buy these every so often. I'm running a bit short, actually. £7.99, 1,000, I think, in the pack. 1,000. 1,000 pieces. Various lengths and thicknesses. XXL. Made from tear-resistant nylon. UV-resistant. Resistance to temperatures from minus 15 degrees centigrade to 85 degrees centigrade. Good packaging. When you rip the top off, you can seal it back up again. Cut them bad boys. Oh, they're all loose. Oh no, are they loose? Mm, sort of. That's a bundle. Ah, the little ones are all loose. The loose, loose around this hoose. Let's see what's gone astray. A little bit creased up. Oh, still usable. And they're the loose ones. Trust me to get the loose bag. Right, I'll sort them later. See if we've got the sizes. Yeah, we have. I won't go through them all. If you want to have a look, freeze the screen. This is interesting though. Tensile force. I've never even studied that before. 450 newtons. That's the 300 by 7.6. It must be them. See how good the click is. Sounds good. Let's get a, a mediocre one. Let's try that one. I bet there's endless tests we can do on these, but... <clears throat> no, no chance. Right, they are strong. <laughs> Let's see how good the snip sounds. If you're interested in the snip. Oh, that sounded good. So there we go, cable ties, £7.99. And of course, if you really want to. Come off. There we go, use it again. Let's see if I have to push it back to use it again. Nope, seems good. Right, next, a dovetail pull saw from Parkside again. It comes with a spare blade and then a quick release button. Three year guarantee, of course. I actually bought this because it was $7.99 as well, by the way. But I've already got on my tool wall the full size Japanese pull saw, but you can release the saw off there as well and replace it. But this has been fantastic, always comes in handy. Loads of uses. And of course, this one's going to be good for sawing off like dowel or something that I want to saw off right close to the edge. And you can flex them a little bit as well. So when you saw in, just bend it over. Let's open it up and have a proper look. As you can see on there, look. I was watching Scout Crafter channel. One thing he suggests is putting snips down the side. Because you know when you cut these down the side, you always get your fingers trapped. So he suggests snipping up the side every so often. And then cutting from the bottom or top, the little pieces fall off. Much easier to cut. Spare blade, is that a spare blade or a different blade? A guard. Destructions. If you wanted to look at instructions on one of these. Yep, so we've got a guard here. There's already a guard on that one. I'll leave that off for the moment. Do they look the same blade? This one's finer. 22 TPI, 22 teeth per inch, I believe. And that one's 17 TPI, teeth per inch. Oh, it's really flexible. Look at the flex on that. Very easy as well. 
Lovely. And then to release it, rubber handle, nice rubber handle. Hole at the top to hang it, or a hole at the other end to hang it. Look how fine that cut is. Good stuff, I'm happy with that. L brackets, bought some of these as well. In fact, I bought these a couple of weeks ago and I've not opened them yet. Always come in handy in the shed or the workshop. Got my gloves on because I've been using them in the shed, so I might as well leave them on. So when I finish this video, I'm gonna carry on. Don't like wasting gloves. I've already ripped one though. <laughs> so what size were they? They're 50 by 50 by 40 mil, 12 in the pack. Six holes in each side. So yeah, they'll come in handy for a million and one things. Galvanized by the looks of it. And the other thing I bought is this for my bar kitchen. It was on offer from Tesco's, normally 15 pounds. I think it was seven pounds 50. Battery operated. I think this will look great in the bar kitchen shed. The Abra <laughs> takes AA batteries. Have I got some? Probably not. There we go. Bar and each bulb lights up. And similar to the sign I made, if you remember a while ago on another video, I made some huge numbers in this sort of carnival style, made them from wood. Check the video out if you haven't seen it already. It's on my channel somewhere. Right, let's put some batteries in. Yep, need a screwdriver. Oh, it's got some in. Oh, that'll teach me. Did I not look at, yeah, I didn't look at the instructions. Didn't watch, the instruction says, comes with batteries. This product contains six AA batteries. They're only time why I've not checked. <laughs> it's got some in there. Right, well. There we go, that was a waste of time then. Well, at least I'm going to dig some batteries out. <laughs> I never, never even thought to check. Right, let's screw these back up. For you, this is probably taking a few seconds. For me, I've just wasted five minutes out of my life. I'm hoping I sped it up in the edit, but it's good to show the little problems we have on a daily basis. <laughs> these little things are meant to test us. Moral of this story, Read the instructions. <laughs> Note to self, more like. I'm red hot in this shed as well. It's the, when the weather's really hot, it's meant to be really warm tomorrow. And it's rained a little bit today, so muggy again. Right, let's try again. On. Where's the button? On. Ooh. Look at that. And that one don't work. Oh, it does. That one don't work. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, kill that. Doesn't that look good? Right, I'm going to stick them on the front of my bar kitchen. Let's have a look what it looks like. But before I do that, have a look at these lot. All these jars have been collecting. We drink honey in our tea. Well, funnily enough, we've only just stopped drinking honey. We're not having anything in there anymore. So we've accumulated all these jars of honey, or empty jars of honey. I'm going to put varying screws in there, and I'm going to store them in a way that I don't think has been done before. I've certainly not seen it. So that's in a video to come. Well, it's not dark yet, but if you have a look, it looks good. I came out when it was a bit darker <laughs> to give you the full effect. Look at that. See how long the batteries last, though. <laughs> right, let's get back to the shed. Sun's gone down and it's still hot and muggy. Let me show you something else I bought. I'm going to do a video on it, but let me just give you a glimpse so you can guess what it is. See if you can guess what that is. If you've already got one, don't ruin it for everyone else. <laughs> but a video to come on it, an unboxing and review, all that sort of thing, very, very soon. So thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers. <laughs> See you next time on Weekend Shedhead.